Fourth generation computers time period is 1971 to 88. Now we will discuss the features of this generation that is the development of microprocessors led to the fourth generation of computers the present day computers a microprocessor is a very large scale integrated circuit that is vlsic that contains thousands of integrated circuits on a single chip number 2 the use of microprocessors decreased the size of computers from desktops to laptops number 3 this generation saw the emergence of networking which led to the development of internet number 4 operating systems with graphical user interface were introduced during this phase number 5 mouse scanner and many hand held devices were used for input improved storage devices were introduced printers and plotters were used as output devices next these computers were more powerful compact reliable and affordable high level languages like c c++ java d b a s e etc were used for coding the instructions now we will discuss few characteristics of this generation number 1 much more compact than third generation computers and affordable number 2 faster processing speed much more reliable and efficient number 3 sharing of more than one computers were introduced means network technology next apart from the high level programming language used in third generation few more languages like c c++ d b a s e that is database basic beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code etc were also used in these computers now the examples of this generation is number 1 star 1000 number 2 cray 1 this this type of computer under supercomputer number 3 pdp 11 personal data processor and the last one is deck 10 now the next topic is fifth generation computers time period is 1988 to till date or you can say present to beyond now we will discuss few features of this generation but before this we can discuss hardware components used in this generation that is u l s i means ultra large scale integration that contains approximately millions of electronic components and called microprocessor chip now we will discuss few features of this generation under this the very first one is 
the concept of artificial intelligence is introduced and implement wherein computers with thinking capability are in the process of development applications such as voice recognition are being used these computers are based on ultra large scale integration technology computers are equipped with enormous storage capacity and super high speed next smart home devices that automate household activities are initially implementations of this new technology now we will come to the next point that is characters sticks of fifth generation computers this generation computers used parallel processing hardware and also ai the full form of ai is artificial intelligence technology number second very very compact than fourth generation computers and much cheaper number 3 very fast processing speed much more reliable and efficient number 4 contains all types of features like time sharing multitasking network technology multi processing multi programming speed recognition gui that is graphical user interface number 5 able to solve complex problems number 6 almost all types of programming languages can be used in fifth generation computers now we will discuss about the examples of this generation in this the very first one is desktop number 2 laptop i hope you all know desktop and laptop very well now the next example of this generation is pam top a pam top pc was in approximately pocket calculator sized battery powered computer compatible with the IBM personal computer in a horizontal cam shell design with integrated keyboard and display it could be used like a sub notebook but was light enough to be comfortably used handheld as well under this generation there is one more example that is notebook computers a notebook computer is a personal computer which is battery powered and is smaller in size it can be carried and used in temporary now we have one more example that is tablet so a tablet computer commonly shortened to tablet is a mobile device typically with a mobile operating system and touch screen display programming so children after the discussion of all the different generations of computer we can simply say each generation of computers has marked the introduction of new devices along with 
improvisation of the capa on the capacity speed and efficiency of devices being previously used